Cadence of Conflict, Asia, February 20, 2017. Keeping 70 years of war on the books is not only a bad idea, it's a hazard. That period is longer than copyright laws and 10 times longer than debts can be collected and taxes audited. At some point, old debts are better to be sold off to keep books clear of overdue accounts receivable. China has its reasons to want Taiwan, just as the Taiwanese have their reasons not to want China's flag flown on their soil. But keeping the discussion unresolved has resulted in growing opposition, not for Taiwan, but for China. China's One Belt, One Road project in Europe is under investigation for legal compliance. Just the investigation is an insult, and even if it ends in China's favor, that investigation could be reopened at any point in the future, even after the railroad has been completed. The two main points to note in the deal are that the government of China is negotiating in the manner of a private business entity, and that China is consistent in wanting singularity in more areas than just maps. The U.S. has sent carrier group USS Carl Vissen to what it is calling routine operations in China's backyard. Without 70 years on the books, not so many changes could be so easily chalked up to, quote, routine, end quote. Now, India wants in on the game. When resisting Beijing control... Many will cite communist states like North Korea or Cuba. People don't want their country to change in a way that introduces the need to join government or military in order to have hope of a stable future. Taiwanese see smog in China's air and feces in China's streets, and they think that more territory would make life even worse on an already strained government. But then there is what happened in Hong Kong. Regardless of which side of the issue people are on, media mogul Jimmy Lai, students, police, government, and businesses in Hong Kong saw quite a disturbance in Central during the Umbrella Movement occupation. But Taipei's Sunflower Movement only lasted three weeks and ended voluntarily, not three months only ended by forced eviction. Taiwanese elect whomever they want, and they are happy. Hong Kong's theater and controversy on all sides of the biases can't happen in Taiwan as the island's situation now stands. If China's flag flew over Taiwan's, that would change, and ways of life that are as subtle as they are constant would be up for grabs. Chinese have their reasons for wanting to reclaim Taiwan. Taiwanese have everyone's way of life in Asia as their reason for wanting the countries to call the status quo what it is. Regime change would be a disruption, no matter who makes it. And that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.